if you're putting body lotion on your whole body every day, that's a lot of exposure. In hair care products, for example, there are chemicals that um, combine when they're heated to release formaldehyde. So formaldehyde isn't listed as an ingredient in hair care products, but many people apply hair care products and then use a blow dryer or use a curling iron. And so it'd be hard to know, you know, which chemicals to look for to know that, oh, I'm releasing carcinogenic formaldehyde into the air if I heat my hair after using this. So I recommend that um, there are a couple of really good, like, third-party um programs for evaluating the toxicity of personal care products here in the U.S. I personally really like one called the Healthy Living app. It's by the Environmental Working Group, which is a nonprofit chemical safety advocacy organization. Um, And they have a long list of ingredients of concern and they evaluate um, products and give them like a ranking based on, you know, how many of those chemicals and at what level are there. And if they're free of all those chemicals, they give them like a seal of approval. Um, they they have a thing on the app that lets you like scan a barcode. So you could scan a barcode at a store. They do food and cleaning products as well in that app. There's a database, an online database called Made Safe. That's another good resource. And there's a, a browser extension called Cleria, C-L-E-R, C-L-E-A-R-Y-A, um, that like as you're shopping on websites for personal care products, um, will like pull up ingredient list info and highlight ingredients of concern. So my recommendation, if you want to think about um, kind of detoxifying your your personal care products, focus on stuff that stays on your skin for a long time. So um, if you're putting body lotion on your whole body every day, that's a lot of exposure. That's a lot more exposure than like face wash you wash off right away, for example. So I'd prioritize stuff that is staying on your skin for longer um, fine to just wait until you're running out of your existing thing. Um, and then I, yeah, just kind of go seek out something. And, it, and it's hard to say like non-toxic, but like less toxic, safer, I think is an appropriate label. Um, and I, and now that I've kind of swapped all my stuff out, it actually feels really nice that I like, you know, have gotten to the point where I feel pretty confident that everything I'm using is like the safest version I have access to. 